Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Cracking This D Bus here. I this video by Llama Arts. This is the Bridge Horror Story Animated Skitty. So, we're about to see, you know, them talk about, you know, people coming from under a bridge and killing you and choking you to death. You know, that's what I think is gonna happen, but who knows? I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's watch. The Bridge. They really got llamas that they're selling. That's wild. So this story takes place when I was about 16 years old. At my school, I played for the volleyball team, and every year we would go to a camp and do volunteer work for this guy. The camp was in the middle of nowhere. When we got to the camp, we immediately started to work until 8 p.m. This was around October, so it was already dark at 8. My two friends and I were sitting around the fire, trying to figure out something we could do so we weren't so bored. We heard that there was a small river down the hill from the camp, and we thought we could check it out. The problem was, is that it was some guy's property, and the owner of the camp told us to not disturb him, since the guy was a little strange. We weren't really supposed to leave the camp, but being 16 years old, we loved breaking the rules. We walked about 10 minutes from the camp and finally reached the river. It was bigger than we expected, and there was a large wooden bridge that crossed it. The bridge was about 20 feet long and was big enough to let a truck go over it. My two friends and I decided to go under the bridge and check it out. As we were walking by the shoreline, we saw two headlights off in the distance moving towards the bridge, so we bolted underneath it and hid. We then heard the truck roll over our heads and to the other side. My friends and I chilled there for a while, just talking and throwing rocks in the water. It was about 8.30 at this time, and now it was pretty much pitch black. That's when we started to hear a slow rumble in the distance. The same truck had come back, and this time it was moving much slower. We stayed put under the bridge, stifling our laughter. Eventually, the truck moved over the bridge, but rather than going over to the other side, the truck stopped right on top of us. The only thing you could hear was the rushing water and the hum of the engine. Then, the door of the truck swung open, and out came a loud thump on top of the bridge. Then we heard a loud scream, saying, I know you're out there. I'm going to find you. I looked at my friends, and they were both shaking in fear. This must have been the crazy property owner, and he seemed pissed that we were on his land. He started screaming and saying he was going to hurt us if he finds us. We could see that he had a flashlight and was swinging it around looking for us. We heard loud thumps as he walked around a little bit, calling out for us, and thank God he never went under the bridge. Eventually, it went silent, and it sounded as if he went back into his truck. I was too terrified to move. We sat there for about ten minutes, and then my one friend, who we'll call Trevor, whispered in my ear, saying that we have to go. Mm -mm. I gave him a quick nod, and in slow motion, Why we moved out from under the bridge. In the dark. We started to army crawl on the shoreline of the river, and I remember looking behind me to see the top of the bridge. I saw a white Ford F-150. <gasps> In the driver's seat was the man staring right at me with a sinister smile and he even gave me a little wave at that moment i screamed and ran my friend saw me run and took off after me i could hear screaming from behind us i took a quick glance behind me and saw that he was chasing after us and i couldn't quite make out the object in his hand but it seemed to be a weapon of some sort we ran into the forest and ducked behind a bush it was pitch black in the forest and we couldn't hear a thing. We sat there for a while, just shaking. The man never walked by us and we never heard him. After we gathered our courage, we got up and walked back to camp, got into our tents and tried to fall asleep. Ten. The next morning, we talked to the camp owner about the man that owned the property of the river. The camp owner said that he didn't know much about the man, but he knows that he has some mental problems and he'd been accused of assault. I am so happy that we were able to escape from underneath the bridge. I can't imagine what would have happened if he caught us. Yeah, I've been dead, I've been dead. Um, yeah, that's really creepy, but why were y'all under the bridge at nighttime though? Like, you know, sometimes people bring stuff upon themselves, you know, so hey, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't have been doing that. You gotta use your common sense. Um, but anyway, this was definitely a scary story. Um, I would have been super shook. I would have been screaming and crying, all that. Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!